Hey everybody, Next IT Justin here, and today I'm going to talk to you about a weird concept. Can GPT models hallucinate? What does an AI hallucination even mean? I'm going to show you live as I walk through AI hallucinations, what they mean, and how it can affect your business if you're not double checking these models. So I'm going to launch directly into this, and I have a GPT 4 over here. Uh, you can use this on any model. They haven't solved it completely fully yet. But if you learn how to prompt engineer correctly, you can get past these things. Now, AI hallucinations are strange because you would think that you could trust it like a Google search. Hey, you know, what's the closest salon? And then it shows you people that are close. Sometimes it might show you someone in M Missouri or Tennessee. But remember, these things have had a decade plus to really refine everything. With these AI models, they are tasked to give you the next, the best answer or the best answer. Really what these GPT models do is they are really good at guessing the next word and then giving you an answer rapidly. So what I have to do in my business to make sure that it's correct is I always have to double check what the answer is. So I'm going to give this model a question that I believe will prompt it to give me a false answer. And I'll show you what I mean. So let me go ahead and ask it here. Uh, hey, chat, tell me about all the features of the new Tesla Model Z that just won the Consumer Reports Award. What's your favorite feature? And should I buy this over the Model Okay, so let's go ahead and see what it does. It may it may give a right answer, it may not, but just like I thought, because it's really tasked to give you answers, right? The Tesla Model Z, recently honored with the Consumer Reports Award, represents a significant advancement in electric vehicle technology. Here are some of its standout features. The Model Z accelerates from zero to sixty in just one point nine seconds, reaching a top speed exceeding 250 miles per hour. Its electric powertrain offers an impressive range of up to 620 miles on a single charge. Aerodynamically optimized for efficiency, the Model Z features a removable glass roof, allowing for an open air driving experience. Man, this sounds so amazing. <clears throat> safety. The Model Z includes advanced safety features, such as an automated emergency braking lane, keeping assist, and so much more. Look, it's even compatible with Tesla's supercharge or network. The Model Z supports rapid charging. So very interesting. It's even telling me, hey, what's the most remarkable things as well? It even pull up, pulls up a video of the Model Z. How phenomenal. The only thing, my friends, and you, and you all know this, is how I've started it. There is no such thing as the Model Z. We got a Model 3 a Model Y, the Cybertruck, supposedly a Roadster would come out, but there is no thing as a Model Z. So what is happening here? Why is it giving me such confident details about a Model Z? You know, a lot of it is that I set it up to fail, obviously, you know, the, I, I know what I'm doing here. So I, not only did I say, hey, can you tell me about the Model Z? I also put in some fake things like it just won the Consumer Reports Award. So it's thinking, oh, the user must know what he's talking about. So then it starts to go and try to search to make me feel correct. This is a weakness in AI models as they currently stand. It's really there to serve us and it's going to help us feel like we're correct, right? Like, I don't know how to better way to put that, but it's going to make me and search for the answers that I'm telling it to see if it's true. Now, it, you can fix this. And the more that you train your model, especially if you use some of the paid features or you buy tokens in the background, you can really set it up to not have these hallucinations. But simple way to ask it, uh, chat, is there anything about what you just told me that isn't true? Think deeply about it. I need the truth and only the truth. Boom. All right. <clears throat> You got me. That was a bit suspicious. I don't have any verified information about a Tesla Model Z winning a Consumer Support Award or even existing as an official Tesla model yet. Tesla has released the Model S, 3, X, and Y, 
and there have been rumors about future models, like a Model 2, but no concrete evidence that a Model Z has announced. It's possible that misinformation or speculative reports might have circulated online. It's just doing its best to gather data. So, you know, now, instead of just having me tell you how we can fix it, let's ask chat itself, how can I fix uh, these answers in the future so that you don't hallucinate and hallucinate and give me fake information. Uh, this could cause serious problems if I'm using it as fact. Okay, so now engage with your models. It, it will really talk back and forth to you. You can go ahead and ask it itself and it will think about it and then tell you how you can, you can break it. So how to reduce AI hallucinations and get more accurate answers. Ask it to verify the web. Ask if a topic involves facts, recent events, products, releases, or rewards. So you can specifically say, double check that with the web search. So if you simply put in your prompt and then ask it back, hey, double check that with the web search. Hey, are you 100% sure that's true? Just like if you have a friend and they're telling you, I know that's true. And he said, yeah, but would you bet your life on it? And then maybe they pause, treat it like a friend. They're just learning right now. But for you and me, no matter what your role is at any company or your solopreneur or whatever, you want to make sure that you're giving your customers the right information, that if you're doing web development, it's the right code. So you really want to take your time and prompt these things correctly. You can ask it to be direct about the source, give clarity, double check your answers. And then for high stake situations, always remember, don't trust the vibes or speculation, stick to the hard data for your LLM model and then ask it to cross-check with other sources if the decision is critical. What I've noticed here to wrap this video up is most of the time it will give me good information. Now, because I know a lot about the things that I search for, this is why the still the human element still matters, I can tell pretty quickly if something doesn't seem right or it seems to be out of bounds. Now, there's topics that I have no clue about, so I wouldn't even know if it was lying to me, and uh, it would make me look like a complete fool. And and that's okay. Like, we're all learning. But I want to double check my answers with ChatGPT. The most important thing I've seen, too, is if you're putting math formulas in here, I want to double check my math formulas with it. Just have it double check. You can tell it to put on a, a professor hat and audit its own work. Really work with these things. That's why I don't want you guys just to go into these GPT models and start asking it questions and then just posting it all out on the Internet. Take your time, ask it questions, and then have it research itself. And you're going to be in such a good spot. Your business is going to grow. Your career is going to grow. That's going to make me very happy. Well, anyways, uh, I'm Next IT Justin, and this is just some of the things I'd like to help my clients and friends learn about so that you can better your life. If you need any IT or cybersecurity support, that's what I'm really good at in my team. We would love to work with you. If not, don't worry, just like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you next time. Thank you. For